welcome to Frederick at its best. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. This year, October 1st through October 8th, is Mental Illness Awareness Week. It's a time to shine a light on mental illness and replace stigma with hope. Every October, the National Association of Mental Illness and their partners provide support, educate the public, and advocate for equal care. I'd like to recognize and thank the Mental Health Providers Council of Frederick for coordinating events for this special week. The Provider Council is a group of area mental health providers who work with the core service agency. One in five adults, that's 20%, experience a mental illness in any given year. Those problems can contribute to the onset of more serious long-term conditions such as major depression, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia. Approximately one half of chronic mental illness begins by the age of 14. Unfortunately, there are often long delays, sometimes many years or even decades, between the time symptoms first appear and an individual gets the help and treatment that they need. It's critical for all of us to learn to recognize some of the symptoms of mental illness and to make sure that we talk to doctors if we have a concern. Early identification and treatment can make a big difference for su successful management of a condition. For example, major depression is a mood disorder that is more serious than feeling blue or having temporary sadness, while, other primarily, while others primarily experience depression. Other types of mental illness includes attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, anxiety disorders, which may include post-traumatic stress disorder, and borderline personality disorder. Mental Illness Awareness Week is a time to learn about all of these. The Frederick County Health Department and Frederick Memorial Hospital sponsored a community health assessment in 2016. Among other things, that assessment found that one in 10 Frederick County adults reported having eight to 20, somewhere between eight to 29 days in the past 30 days when their mental health was not good. And that was an increase from 7.9% in, in 2011. At Frederick Memorial Hospital, 70% of patients admitted for a mental health diagnosis also experienced substance abuse. Mental health is a concern across all age groups. However, the highest number of people seeking care at Frederick Memorial Hospital, according to this assessment, were between the ages of 18 and 39, about 42%. More than one-third of mental health visits to the hospital were paid by Medicaid, which is higher than the percentage of all Frederick Memorial Hospital visits, which is about 26% paid by Medicaid. Approximately one in five survey respondents reported anxiety, depression, and stress. While only 5% of the respondents reported mental illness, over half of all respondents identified mental health as a health problem for county residents in general. In addition to the community health assessment, the emphasis right now among mental health partners is for communities to understand how adverse child experiences creates trauma, mental health concerns, and later even physical health problems. So I'd like to take a moment to read the proclamation and then I'll introduce all of the people who are joining me today. Whereas mental health is part of overall health and one in five adults experiences a mental health problem in any given year, and whereas approximately one half of chronic mental illnesses begins by the age of 14 and three quarters by age 24, and whereas suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States and the second leading cause among young adults, and 90% of the people who die by suicide have an underlying mental illness. And whereas early identification and treatment can make a huge difference in successful management of mental illness and recovery. And whereas it is important to maintain mental health and learn the symptoms of mental illness in order to get the help when it's needed. And whereas every citizen and community can make a difference in helping end the silence and stigma that for too long has surrounded mental illness and discourage people from getting help. And whereas public education and civic activities can encourage mental health and help improve the lives of individuals and families affected by mental illness. So now, therefore, as the County Executive of Frederick County, Maryland, I hereby proclaim the week of October 1st through October 8th, 2017, as Mental Illness Awareness Week in Frederick County, and commend this observance to all of our citizens. 
Certainly, uh, probably all of us know among our family and friends uh, people who have been diagnosed and suffered from a mental illness. And we know that there is hope and that there is treatment. So I really want to encourage all of our viewers and all of our citizens to seek the assistance and support that they need. So I'm going to pass the microphone and let each of you introduce yourselves, say a few words. Hi, my name is Ellie Bentz. I'm the clinical director with the Mental Health Association of Frederick County. Um, our goal is to help all of our citizens recognize that mental health matters and that we can together build a foundation of emotional wellness. Um, mental health is something that every single person has and taking care of it's just as important as taking care of all of those physical health pieces so nothing gets worse. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pippa McCullough. I'm the executive director for the Mental Health Management Agency which, of Frederick County, which is your core service agency. And I wanted to express our gratitude for your support. I also wanted to let folks know about some events we have coming up. On Sunday, October 1st, there is a Run for a Better Tomorrow. And you can uh, register for that 5K walk run at www.runforabettertomorrow.com. And then we have a couple free yoga classes coming up at MHA, located at 226 South Jefferson Street. Those are at 9.30 a.m. on uh, Monday, October 2nd, and at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, October 7th. And then finally, we have on Sunday, October 8th, uh, a candlelight vigil in downtown Frederick from 6 to 8.30 and that can be, uh, if you need additional information, you can email J Steinmetz, J S T E I N M E T Z, at waystationinc.org. Um, and Waystation is located at 230 West Patrick Street. So we invite the public to come out to those events, and we really hope that people come out to write, uh, help raise awareness. Joy Sand Sundergill Schmid. Director of Adult Services, Mental Health Management Agency of Frederick County. Holly Mercier, Program Support for the Mental Health Management Agency of Frederick County. Hi, I'm Stephanie Scott. I'm with Potomac Case Management Services. Um, we provide mental health uh, case management services to both uh, children and adults. We also do have a partnership with the Frederick Memorial Hospital as well. And um, we are conveniently located downtown at 16 South Market Street. Um, anyone can make a referral to our program. We have an online site or just stopping into the office. Uh, my name is Alex Baldy, and I'm with Frederick Community Action Agency. My name is Chris Bard, case manager of Frederick Community Action Agency. And we, what I do is I offer case management to anyone who has a mental health crisis. We're located at 100 South Market Street on the southeast corner of Market and All Saints Street. So please come by and stop and see me if you need that help. Thank you. My name is Jen Beach. I'm the case manager at the Frederick Transitional Shelter, operated by the Frederick Community Action Agency. All right. Well, thank you all for uh, joining us today for this proclamation. I do want to make uh, people who are listening aware of some other uh, ways to find uh, information. The National Association of Mental Illness uh, offers helpful information through its website, which is www.nami.org. And they have a helpline with an 800 number, 800-950-NAMI, which is 6264. And they have affiliates in hundreds of communities nationwide that can help, um, help you and provide free educational classes and support groups. In Frederick County, anyone who's experiencing a mental health emergency can call 211 to reach the 24-hour hotline, which is operated by the Mental Health Association. And I join with the Mental Health Association in envisioning a future where children can grow and thrive without fear, where good mental health is valued, where people of all ages know when and how to seek help for emotional or family problems without shame, and where everyone will have access to mental health services without barriers. So we do have many organizations, some who are here with us today, who really do provide help for people that you may know, whether they're a coworker, a friend, or a family member who needs mental health assistance. It is a health challenge, 
just like any other physical health challenge, and there is hope and there is wellness if you seek appropriate uh, treatment and services. So if you're interested in service, remember you can call 211. You can go to the Frederick County Mental Health Association at www.fcmha.org. So I want to thank you and commend all of our mental health service providers for your role in making sure there's a bright future in Frederick County for everyone. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>